Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to draw this cup using a uh, free cut pro design. So this is how it look in free cut. So if you like this cup and you want to draw it, you can follow my tutorial. And also give me a like and subscribe. So thank you. Okay, so I start by creating a new document. Uh, in the pro design workbench, I create a new body and create a new sketch on the uh, S and Y plane. I create a circle and I set the diameter to 50 enter. Now I close that and I click on the sketch and I part it to 100 enter. Now I click on this edge down here and I fillet it with a uh, fly. Okay. Next I create a new sketch on the um, S and Y plane. And I view the section. And I create a center rectangle. Something like this. I select this line and I hit L. Set it to 20. Select this line, hit I, and set it to 30. I select this point and I hit L, set it to 23. Enter. Now I can close that. Next, I create a new sketch in the S and uh, Z plan, and I will reference uh, this rectangle. And I create a line, start from here. I create an arc uh, from this point to here. I select um, this point, this point, and then this line. And I hit S for symmetry constraint. I select um, this point, this point, and then this point. I hit edge for horizontal constraint. Now I select this line and I, hit, I set it to 50. Select this arc and set the radius to 20. Now I can close that. Next I uh, select the rectangle and I go to the uh, subtractive pi. And in the path to sweep along, I click on the object and I come over here and I click on this one. Now I click OK. Now you can see we have a new cut. Next, I select the subtractive pi and I click on the polar um, pattern. And the angle is 360. And the number I want it to 8. Now click OK. Next, I create another sketch on the S and Y plane. And I also uh, go up here and view the Y frame. As I'm in here, and I will reference this slide so that we have this point here. I select a circle and I create a new circle on this point. I select a circle and I set the diameter to 3. I can close that. Now I um, go up here and view the flat line again. Okay, next I uh, control select this edge right in uh, this uh, circle. And I will count one, two, three, and then four. And I control select this edge. Now I create a datum plan based on these two. Now I click OK. Next, I select the datum plan and I create a new sketch based on it. I go up here and view uh, the wireframe. 
Now I will reference this line here and also the circle. I create a line in between these two points and come up here. And also create a endpoint and redeem point arc. Something like this. I zoom close here. I select this point, this point, and this line. I hit S for symmetry constraint. I select this uh, line, I hit I, and I set it to 60. Enter. Select this point, this point, and this point. Hit H for horizontal constraint. Now I select this arc and I set the radius to 5. Okay. Now I can close that. Now I click on the datum plane and I hide it. Now I um, go to the flat line again. I click on the circle and I click on the uh, subtractive pi. Click on it. And in the part to sweep along, I click on the object. And then I click on this one. And I click OK. Uh, now I come to the tree view and I click on the polar pattern up here and I hit spacebar to hide it. Now you can see we have a new cut. Now I also want to polar pattern this cut. I click on the subtractive pi 001 and I click on the polar uh, pattern. And the same, type in here 8. I click OK. Next, I will create a new sketch in the S and Z plan. And I view the section. I create a circle somewhere around here. I select the circle and I set the diameter to 3. I select the center of the circle and I hit I. Set it to 20. And select the center again. Hit L, 24. Now I can close that. And now uh, with the circle selected, I click on the groove. Click on it. And in the default setting, uh, it will use the vertical line. It's good. Now I click OK. Now I click on the groove and I go to the uh, linear pattern. Click on it. And I want to uh, put the length is uh, 20. And I click off. And you can see the direction in here. I click in, in the drop down and I click on the select reference. And I click on, uh, you can click on any line here. I click on this line. And then I click OK. Next, I create a new sketch in the front view, the um, S and Z plan. And I view the section. And I create a polyline. Something like this. Start from the vertical line, go out, go down, and then go to the right. Make sure uh, this point and this point have the vertical constraint. Hit V. Now select this line and hit H for horizontal constraint. Now I create the fillet. This one and this one. This one and this one. I select the arc and set the radius to 10. I select this one and then this one. I hit E for equal. I select this one and this one. I hit I, set it to 70. I also reference uh, this line up here. And I select this point and this point. 
I hit L, I set it to 20, enter. I select this point and I hit I, set it to 10, enter. Now I can close that. Next, I create another sketch in the right view in the YZ plane. And I view the section. And I rotate the sketch a little bit. And I will reference this line down here so that we have this point. And I go back to the right view. Now I create a center rectangle. Start from this point, go out. I select this line, hit L, set it to 8. Select this line and hit I, set it to 6. Now I can close that. Now I select um, the sketch 007. And I click on the um, adaptive pie, click on it. And the part to shift along, I click on the object and then I click on this one. Now I click OK. Again, I go to the G view and I click on the linear pattern and then hit spacebar to hide it. Next, I control select this edge, this edge, and come in here, select this edge, and then this edge. And I will um, fillet it with a uh, tool. And you can see we have the result look like this. Now I want to fillet that up here, so I click on the select. And I zoom up here and control select with this one, this one, and this one. And this one up here. Alright. Now I come down here and select this one. This one. And then this one. Now I click preview. Now you can see the result. Now I click OK. Next I will create um a new sketch in the um, S and Z plane and I view the section and I create a corner rectangle something like this I select this point and hit I set it to 5 select this line hit I Set it to 100. Enter. Select this line. Hit L. Set it to 21. OK. Now click Close. Now with the new sketch uh, 00A selected, I click on the groove. Click OK. Now zoom up here. Select this edge and then this edge, and and I will fill it with one point nine nine. I click OK. Now you can see we have a good fillet up here. Now zoom to the bottom and con and select this one, and fill it with a tool. OK. Okay, so next I will uh, fill that this area down here, but instead using the product design workbench, I will use the product workbench because we have an option to select on off this edge down here. I go to the product workbench and I just select in one face in here and click on the fill that. And in the select edge, I click on all. Now you can see all of this edge um, selected. Now I click OK.
Now you can see all of these guys have, have been um, filled out. Now I click on the new filled out and I go to the view and I set the deviation down to 0 0.01. and also view the shed now you can see we just finished modeling the cup using a Pratt design workbench so thanks for watching